how to install SimH using the Windows um, executables, the pre-built Windows executables. And uh, this is actually my second video, second video showing this, because the first video that I that I created um, showed the download from the wrong location. It was very outdated. So my apologies for that. But this is more updated now that I know this. You want to go to GitHub.com forward slash SimH. And while you're here, um, you want to scroll down and go right to Win32 Development Binaries. SimH downloadable pre-built binaries for Windows. That's what you want. Click here. And it shows all these fantastic different versions. Now, initially, I was kind of thrown because I thought I could download, well, just one of these. No, no. I found that I have to download all of them at once. Um, what I tried to do, and by the way, disclaimer, this is wrong. This is what not to do. I tried to click this and try to download from here. But it really doesn't show me, for one, there's no download button. And um, it doesn't really give me a whole lot of information here. So I thought, well, maybe there's just something wrong with the download button. I'd right-click this and say link as. Well, that doesn't work. It downloads a zip file, sure, but I can't open the zip file. It's corrupted somehow. So the correct thing to do is right here at the top. You see this clone or download button? Well, let's just click the right-hand side of that, the down arrow, and uh, we just want to download the zip. That's what we want to do. And we want it to be the entire, the entire zip file. Now it's fairly long. It is uh, 324 megabytes, 325 megabytes. So it takes a minute or two. But that's how I've done that. So I am just going to download this again to show you. Yes, I have downloaded it before just to prove it was the right thing. I'm just downloading it now. And look, it says it'll take about two minutes. That's fine. We'll be back shortly. Now, while this is downloading, let's have a look back here at the uh, SimH root. Um, you may, if you're helping me with uh, editing this, you may want to download the original, um, the original source code. And so to do that, you want to click on SimH, Computer History Simulation Project. I don't think uh, any of these other things are necessarily... Uh, necessary just yet. Maybe the Windows build if you're helping me build um, a Windows executable, but we'll get to that in a minute. So I suppose that uh, you could just go here to this SimH location, and this should be all of the most current download files, I believe. You can see that various ones of them were downloaded or uh, updated so many days ago. And uh, I'm most interested in the Nova, so we'll just see how many days ago each of these were updated. And most of them were updated just a few days ago, 15 days ago at this point. Some were a year, some were five years, uh, so on and so forth. That's all fine and good. But see, again, I can't download just the Nova folder. I need to download all of them. So here, we'll just do this, and we'll download the zip. And I'm going to download the zip to the same location, simhmaster.zip, and click Save. Okay, so it looks like this is almost done. I suppose as long as we're in the download mode, we'll just show one more thing. If you are going to help me with the Windows build, you may or may not need uh, this to help me with this. But we'll just click the, uh, we'll just download it anyway, the Windows build. I'm not going to do anything with it because I don't know how. I'm just going to download it, document where to download it so that there's, it's very clear where to get this. Windows build, download build, that's it. Very nice. Okay, so here, what am I going to do? I'm going to pause this video and then come back in a moment. Okay, so now that I've downloaded the Win32 development, that's really where I'm going to start because um, I at least want you to be able to run uh, the Windows executable from this video. So we're going to go through that entirely. Um, and if you're helping me with, um, with the code, hopefully you can unzip these on your own. I may go through those at the end. But anyway, 
this is the next thing to do to run this on your Windows machine. Open this, and uh, I like to extract this way. We'll just go right into the folder that I put this in. And I just chose my own folder. I created my own folder for sim h on the uh, directory structure that I wanted. I recommend that you do the same here. I suppose I could have said that in the beginning, but better late than never. All right, and the uh, Win32 development binaries in here. Now we have zip. It's a zip of zips. So I've unzipped the zips. All right, well, I want the latest. Um, and the latest here is at the bottom, 2016.05.26 at the current time. Maybe you'll have one that's a more recent date, so please use that instead. Not this date, but the most the most current date. And I imagine, depending on how you have this sorted, the most current date will be at the bottom. Okay, so double-click this to open. And for my purposes, the only thing I'm interested in is the Nova. So I'm going to find Nova, and I'm going to drag that. I'm going to choose, again, the, the root SimH folder that I put everything in and just put it there. So now I have the Windows Nova executable, and I should just be able to launch this. Uh, you don't need to ask me. That's fine. And we'll click Run, and there it is. It is running. Uh, next, I'm going to splice in my video that shows um, how to download the, um, the Nova uh, default software uh, just as a test. Now, this is uh, if you're working on development with me here, I'm actually not going to be using the Nova uh, RDOS. I guess that's what it's called, RDOS. I'm not going to be using Nova RDOS. Um, I'm just want you to download that for a test just to make sure that it works uh, correctly um, out of the box, so to speak. So let's go on to that now. And there it is. So now SimH is running um, the Nova simulator slash emulator. I think those words are fairly interchangeable in this context. Um, now, what if we were to run the, the Nova out of the box? Well, let's see where we get that software from. So let's go to simh.trailing-edge.com forward slash software dot html. And right at the top, we see RDOS v7.5. It should be the only uh, software kit available here for the Nova, and it is. So let's click that to download, and uh, we're going to put that here in this folder. Now, this is a tar.z file. So the real question is, what on earth does Windows do with a tar.z file? We don't know. You know, because most, most of the people that play with this are using uh, Linux. And I do have an example of this running on Linux. So let's unzip the uh, .z file, shall we? So because I really don't want to install anything on my Windows computer uh, for unzipping this stuff, we'll just see if we can zip it online. So a quick Google search of online extract tar.z brings me to b1.org forward slash online. Let's try this one. That way I don't have to install anything. So let's click here to select an archive from my computer. Very good. And this is where I stored this tar.z file. Ah, oh, yes, there it is, right there. Okay. And we do an upload, and it's extracting. Great. Alrighty. Here's my files. Well, this is the uh, rdosware.tar. So evidently the .z now goes through another step. So let's try that. So we'll download the rdosware.tar to this location, shown folder, and uh, let's see if the same site can actually can actually deal with this for us. Let's try another archive. Absolutely, tar is an archive. Matter of fact, that's what it stands for. T is for tape. A R is for archive. Thank you, Unix. Let's try this one right here. And here we go. 
We have disks and licenses. My files. And licenses. So the question is, <laughs> I guess I have to manually recreate this folder structure because I cannot download this folder structure and it doesn't zip it up for me in the format that I wish it was. This, you know, I prefer zip files. So we'll just do this manually. Disks and licenses. And, and actually, didn't we have the Windows executables? I'm just going to put it here, dump it in this, in this folder. It's not particularly neat, but that's how I'll do it. RDOS underscore 3 uh, D31.dsk. That's what I need anyway. And from experience, I know that. So the other one, the licenses, let me just see what that says. That is incredibly informative. Look at this. I love that. Very, very informative. Let's try this one. Oh, well, this is nice. Lots of legalese. I think that's great. I am certainly appreciative to those who worked very hard to make this available. So very nice. All right, well, let's launch this in SimH, shall we? So what did I find? I found um, someone's blog that was actually very helpful that showed me how to, um, how to, how to do this. I think we're done with online.b1.org. That was actually quite helpful. Good. So really, I just need these um, these three commands to start RDOS. If the event that that's what I want to do. And it should work because I put that in the same operating directory as the execute. Good, it seems to. name excellent so I think I just hit enter on this and it prompts me for a date I don't know if it's two digit or one digit I'm gonna give it a shot didn't object oh it's probably military time right so we have um, Beautiful. Now I have the R prompt. Now I don't really know how to use RDOS, but I started this. So using the uh, using the Nova simulator seems to be quite simple. Uh, let's move on to the uh, running Iris. Now we have this set up and we've proven that it works.